hi guys in this video we will learn that how we can resume the already cancelled subscription so we are using the laravel cache here so if you don't know that how to resume the subscription using the laravel cache here in the stripe so today i'll cover this out right okay and if you are not familiar with this one how you can cancel the subscription you can watch my previous lecture i'm explaining it here a bit too uh, i have created a route where i'm getting the login user and then uh, i'm getting the login user a specific subscription and after getting the subscription a specific subscription i'm basically cancelling this subscription and it, it's basically uh, setting its grace period here when this subscription will be ended so today is a uh, 30 september and it will be ended in the 6 october because it's a weekly uh, weekly subscription and it will be ended at october 6 and we will also cover that how you can immediately cancel those uh, kind of uh, subscription immediately rather than this case period okay and uh, in this uh, first lesson we will cover that how we can resume this subscription it's cancelled uh, and uh, ended at uh, and it will be ended at october 6 so how we can resume this again so it's mentioned on the laravel documentation very clearly that um, if you have cancelled that subscription how you can resume this it's very simple right i'm going to copy this stuff and to comment this out i'm going to paste this one more time here and here i'm going to uh, let's change this resume subscription resumed okay i'm basically getting the login user and after that i'm getting its subscription and after getting that subscription saving this into the variable and then calling this variable or you can directly call this out without defining its variable maybe it's overwhelming for you i had i have written four line of code it's basically a three line of code so i have refactored that if you have a user and you are calling the subscription method and getting the subscription name and this one name belongs to this uh, name if i go here to the subscriptions table where all of the subscription will be also mentioned here in the subscriptions table this one is a default and this one is a trial subscriptions right so here i'm mentioning my subscription default and now i want, don't want to cancel this out i want to resume this subscription because it's already cancelled so now give it a save and i'm going to now open this in the web browser so here replacing with the resume hit enter and you can see this it's returning that subscription resumed and if i visit here uh, now let's get refresh so it's cancelled october 6 now it will be resumed right and here it's loading all of the subscription and you can see this it's again become active here right and then it's not ended it's a weekly transaction and it's uh, now become active and here you can see this we have also loaded this using our laravel application and it's returning that it's ended at the october 6 right which ends at is at this date but now if i'll give it a refresh so it will not return this ends at it will return the null value so here you can see this ends at is null so it means that this subscription is active it's not ended yet right so now question is that when this will be ended right if you will end this so it will be ended in the october 6 right but if you want to um, uh, resume this right so you can resume this until this october 6 and when then it will reach to this october 6 it will charge your user for the next week right and uh, here now we have resumed this subscription and uh, let's say your mind uh, uh, think that uh, i want to basically cancel that subscription again right so i'm going back here let me uh, add this logic same right i'm also removing the repeating stuff subscription cancel i want to now cancel this subscription again right so let's uh, cancel this again uh, okay subscription cancelled and if i go here and here to you can see this it's october 6 is set and this will be also set as cancelled 
and will be ended at October 6. Okay, okay, it's reloading this out and you can see this, it's returning that cancels October 6, right? And now you think that I don't want to give the user time to uh, still access your application, right? You given some access to your user who are subscribed to user, right? But at that time you want to block that user, he violated any of the rule and you want to immediately cancel that uh, user subscription. So how you can do this? So you will call here uh, another method uh, immediate to cancel subscription right okay so here you will call cancel now method which will cancel the subscription immediately okay now let's uh, get refresh and you can see this it's returning subscription cancel but if i go here and let's get refresh it will now return that this subscription is fully cancelled and it will not be resumed anymore okay let's get refresh and you can see this this subscription doesn't exist anymore here right because it's cancelled and if i go here and click on this cancelled so you can see this it's showing this weekly subscription if i click on that it will show that to subscription okay let's get refresh and you can see this it's basically uh here <clears throat> let's basically cancel this one is a subscription ending at mt let me verify that is i'm um, the, mentioning the correct yes mt zz mt and it's a zz mt so this subscription is now permanently cancelled and will not be resumed anymore and if i give it a refresh so this will not exist here okay let's go here and ah but it's exist but its status is you can see this it's only loading the uh, its status is become cancelled right and its ends at is also set so now this one is immediately ended at 9 in, uh, or it's a september 30 it's immediately cancelled rather than october 6 and its status is cancelled so if you want to only ex uh, only uh, display the active subscriptions you can uh, basically uh, add a for each loop and uh, you can apply a where condition so where stripe status equal active so you can get only the active subscription rather uh, rather than this cancelled subscription so in this way you can resume your subscription and then immediately uh, and immediately cancel your subscription right so here you can there are other methods so you can check that user is on the trial user and that is that has expired has expired trial and so on so there are a bunch of methods you can use them according to your need and uh, that's it for this uh, course so if you like the overall course please share your feedback about the course so in this way i'll uh, cover the course as you are expecting right so I'll exactly know that what you are looking for and what's helping you out. So thank you so much guys for watching this one and please don't share your feedback in the comment box. I love to hear your feedback. Thank you guys.